Hello Fields, what's Fatal TN? You're now wondering what the hell is this? Well, you probably read the title, and... I have 10 days before I leave to the USA as an exchange student, and I thought, well, I want to do something good before that. I just don't want to have my Twitter France series and Amada series. I want to have a Let's Play. And what other team to do Let's Play with than the Saxabank team? My lovely team. I love this team. And I kind of want to do a Let's Play, but it's going to be a strange Let's Play, because... I plan on having one episode to be one month. I don't know how they can how can we fit that in, but I want to try it because most let's play die because you have one episode that's one stage, you have two episodes that's two stage, and I want to do like one month and I show you the last 20 kilometers of each stage. I really want to do that, so it's gonna be a really really long episode though because if that's last 20 kilometers, let's say that's five minutes, that's 10 minutes, that's 15 minutes, that's 20 minutes, that's 25, that's 30 minutes. No, it's not gonna happen, so... Maybe I'll do 15, 15 days. The first 15 days, then the next 15 days. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it, because then it'll feel better. Yeah, definitely do that. Well, I'll come back with the first stage. Oh, maybe I should just do a little... Say something. I'm playing on hard. Like, I'm playing this on hard, because I want to challenge myself. Normally I play on easy. No, not on easy, sorry. Not on easy, I have to say that. Not on easy, I play on normal. Why did I say easy? I like, I, the only thing I change normally when I do a career is just I take the evolution of riders all the way up because that makes the game a lot more fun if your young riders turn better very fast. So you can see now, we don't have uh, Contador because he is like, he's disqualified to the World Espana. So that's kind of realistic that we don't have him. So the strongest rider on the team, according to this database, is Nick Newitz, but <coughs> most of you guys that know me know I'm a really big Chris Anger Samson fan. I think he's an amazing guy. And from one or two years from now, he will have 80 and 89. Oh, 79, sorry. In here. I really think he can do something like that. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to watch. Well, you can now see the stats, and I'm running with the RCM News database. And it's totally fucked up stats, but I like it. Because Chris Angersetson has better stats than he should have, and other riders does as well. So, it, it makes the game more interesting, because there's a lot more guys that can, that can actually win stages. But I'll come back at the, at the Australian Championship, and that's probably gonna be the only stage this this uh, this part and I'll do the last 20 kilometers. So what I'll do before each stage is just tell you what my expectations are and who I'll bring to the race. Or maybe not who I'll bring to the race but my expectations of this race is gonna be it's gonna be a tough race. So for those guys who are not good in the hills it's gonna have a rough day because it seemed like uh, which seems that uh, Green Edge can really set a high pace in the last couple of hills like these these four is gonna be really tough I don't think these will get that tough but I think the last four will get really really tough but you will only see like the last two because that's the last 20 kilometers and who I predict to win the stage I predict a guy like Michael Rogers, Cattle and Simon Jarrett to win the stage oh I can maybe show you who I'll bring David Turner, Luke Roberts and Jonathan Campbell, the only guys that I have on this team <laughs> who is Aussies. So let's see what we can do with these guys. I'll probably go in the break with some of them, or maybe two of them and try to attack with the third guy. See you with the last 20 kilometers. So we're now at the 20 kilometers mark, and what has been happening all day is that Jonathan Campbell and a guy named Lane has been in the breakaway the whole day long and they have been sitting quite good now. They have around let's check, I haven't really looked how much time they have, but I guess around 230. 225, uh, that's good. And now the fairest out to attack, so now look, look, robots, 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 who are decided to be our favorite, or our captain, is trying to counterattack some of the great guys, like Simon Jarens and Maya, and, well, I see Evans is somewhere close. I can't really find him. There he is. So he's there, and we did not really get that much in that attack, because, yeah, you see, the Team Dope team is trying to set a high pace. So how is it looking in the front? We are looking quite good actually. Who is that? That's Simon Clark who is almost out there. And what the f Why is he falling behind? I hate when that happens. Stupid bug. Uh, there's Luke Robots. Should he try to attack now? I'm kinda like, should I attack or should I not attack? Because if I attacked, it could be good. But I don't know if they're gonna catch these guys. I'm thinking of just attacking as well as Campbell because 30 kilometers is nothing. Uh, 30 years. 30. Yeah, he's getting caught slowly and slowly. Well, let's try to attack and see if Lane can follow. Because, yeah, he can, he can, he can. But Clark is death. Clark is death, that's good. Let's see, how's Luke Roberts doing? We're still gaining some time. It's awesome. Can Lane follow? Because now we hit this and now we can start slow to set a pace. It could be good to see Jonathan Campbell up there. 
Oh, they are getting time a bit, it seems like. Are they catching up to the guys in the front? 30 seconds to the guys in the front. Oh, come on, Jonathan Cantwell, this is your your terrain. What is Luke Roberts doing? Oh, we just need to get to the... Oh, fuck. Oh, this was not what I planned to do. Come on. You just need... What the fuck? Why are you falling behind? Why is Luke Roberts falling behind? That makes no sense. Well, I just need to see if I can follow now. If we could get to the... Come on, Simon Jarrett, just get up there. Get up there. That's you can win in a sprint if you just get up there. Five to the finish line. Now you need to relax and you need to relax. We can win in a sprint up here. If we just need to go on Matthew Gus. Come on, we can win a sprint like this. Where's Canwell? You should go on Hayes. He he he's a good sprinter, right? No, not really. Oh Henrik Hausler's in this race. I actually thought he was German. What? Why did I think of that? Sorry. Well come on, three kilometers left. It's gonna be between... It's gonna be close. We actually have a chance of winning this with Luke Roberts. But I think it might be Hausler who has the better chance of Matthew Gus. Come on. What the fuck? Where's that finishing line from? Come on, Luke Roberts. Just... Get a good position. Just finish good. Finish good. That's all I want from you. Just finish, like, top five. Then I'm glad. Come on. Now you can start sprinting. Now you can run your chance. Luke Roberts is getting away. Luke Roberts. No, fuck you, Durant. Fuck you, Durant. Come on, Durant. Durant. Come on, Luke Roberts. Come on, Luke Roberts. I'm getting sick and on hard. I like that. Against the guy who has 80 heal. Well, I'm not going to see the Aussie jersey. Aussie, uh, Aussie championship jersey on Roberts. I'm going to see it on Simon Jarrett. But I was second. And I was also sixth. So I'm happy. And what the... At least we're not last. It's Ro. I don't even know his name. Come on, can you get up there? Oh, who's that? That's Rogers. Would did Rogers have a poncho or something? Because he was totally behind in the end. Oh, that, that's an exciting end. I want to watch the last final 100 km oh, 100 meters. I thought I had a chance there, but I thought the captain was Gus, but apparently it was Simon Gerrans. So that was not optimal. But congratulations to him. So we're not going to see Simon Gerrans in the Australian Championships jersey. So this was the first little pilot episode of this race of this ep of this series. So, uh, yeah, next time I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be showing you Tour Down Under race. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good. I leave your feedback in the comments, like, and guys, and I can just do I can just show you what the Saxon Bank goals are. But this was kind of a pilot episode. I want to see what you guys think of that showing the last 20 minutes, 20 kilometers, because I know for a fact that many of you just skipped to the end to watch who will win. And you don't really care what happens in the start and the, and the finish. So, that's the we have a goal for the Tour Down Under. That's getting the first in the points ranking. So, we know a guy who's going to start off this year good. Or at least I hope so he can. And his name is Juan Jose Hayedo. And it's going to be hard, but at least this database gave him 70 heals.